Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct, just past the bottom of the hour. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik to give you an idea as to what's going on with the forecast as we head into the area close to around the rest of the weekend. We again see the possibility of some very cold air heading our direction as we get into around the area tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. We'll also take a look here in just a little while at the possibility of winter weather into and around the Mid-South area. It doesn't look like much for right now, but it does look like we may see again the potential of some of that for northern parts of Mississippi. So if you have any plans for travel into tomorrow morning, that's where you're going to need to watch out for for the potential of some of that coming down again it doesn't look like a lot but we do want to make certain you are aware of that before you head out the door or anybody else you know who's going to be traveling especially for any new year's holiday stuff going on out there for both the wind chills and the potential of maybe some travel problems early on new year's eve day we'll talk more about that potential coming up here in just a little bit main thing we're going to be looking at is again some fairly cold temperatures into the mid-south as we get into around the rest of what's left of 2017 we'll talk about that coming up here in in just a little while. GPC3, thank you very much for stopping by on Periscope for tonight. Glad to have you along for the ride on here for tonight. And give me just one second to make certain our broadcast is going for Facebook for right now. And things are looking, again, decently quiet for the time being. And if you've never been here before, again, this is our exclusive video weather blog. It's called Weather Overtime, and we try to keep you updated on your schedule for whatever you may be doing and going on so you can download this and take a look and see what's going on in and around the Mid-South and points beyond. So please feel free to drop your location and your weather reports, temperature, wind speed, wind direction, whatever you've got into the comments section. We'd love to see where you're coming in from and what exactly it is you're seeing with weather out there so please pass that along and we'd love to have you along for the ride for that also more information again at wreg.com slash weather that's our main web section for weather details from the weather experts if you can't stick around for the whole forecast if you're on periscope or twitter it's scrolling in the blue bar down beneath me into this page right here and of course you can see the seven day forecast there as well and if you're on the uh, Facebook page. Again, you can see more information about this as well coming up in just a little bit. Uh, let's see, GPC3, good to be here. Thank you very much for checking in. Do appreciate that. Very cold into the next couple of days, mid 20s at best for tomorrow. And for the first day of the year, January 1st, cold, getting back toward more sunshine after a few clouds during the day, and sunny, cold, and pretty dry as we get into and around the area of the first Tuesday back to school and back to work. Yes, there are going to be some schools and businesses getting back to business again early on January 2nd. So we are looking at some very chilly conditions across much of the Mid-South out there. Let's see, Christine Lewis Bradley, if I'm reading that correctly, in the two-point typeface with bifocals. Uh, good evening to you on Facebook, and thanks to everybody else for checking in for this evening. We're keeping an eye on the weather. We're also keeping an eye, naturally, on what goes on around the Mid-South area and points beyond. We're not seeing anything in the way of earthquakes into around the New Madrid fault line, so good news on that. The coast is clear into around northern Mississippi. We're monitoring very carefully for anything coming down in the way of snow, freezing rain, sleep anything like that taking place. And so far from the Ole Miss campus tonight in Oxford, nothing showing up in the way of precipitation just yet. So good news on that for the time being. Joan Northcutt, too cold. Stick around. We'll see if we can fix that by just a bit. Julia Cavallo, welcome to the show on Facebook and everybody else checking in on Periscope and Twitter for this evening. Again, what we're going to be looking for is going to be relatively light. It's going to be just enough to possibly cause some problems into tomorrow morning, but more on that in just a bit. View from Germantown, the water tower is north of Germantown High School, Poplar, Mendenhall Towers area, and just back around Poplar Pike and Germantown Road, 29 degrees from City Hall camera in Germantown, and wind chill of 19 with winds breezy out of the northwest at about 12 miles per hour. So far, again, good news for um, the area into and around much of the Mid-South for travel out that direction. Uh, Curl BJ, thank you very much for joining us on Periscope for tonight. The area around I-55 and Goodman Road, we're not seeing anything in the way of backups or slowdowns here. A lot of people out and about and traveling for this evening, but this is a lot lighter traffic than what we saw just about maybe an hour ago. So a lot of people probably getting to where they're going, so not major problems being seen here at this point in time. Cindy Farr-Hester from Midtown, thanks for joining us. Grace Wilbanks from Senatobia. 
hello back to Diane Wingo. Thank you very much for joining us on uh, Facebook for tonight. Rest of the area, again, should be okay. Travel conditions for the next couple of hours later on tonight could be a bit of a problem into and around the area for later on for tonight. Again, for this evening, excuse me for just one second here. Having a bit of problem with Facebook. There we go. Sorry about that. Had a message from my wife. She was going to the hospital to help out a friend of hers there for this evening, heading back home once again. View from I-40 and Sycamore View, roughly about in that area there. The flyover traffic, 4240 Sam Cooper. Looks like that's moving along. And traffic on I-40 between Witten and the area around Sycamore View, also looking like it's moving along pretty well. Very heavy traffic early this evening, but not that much going on right now. Air travel, also not that much of a problem. Nice view from Memphis International Airport from our 240 and Airways camera. Thank you very much, News Channel 3 engineering staff, for getting that fixed and ready to go. Currently seeing nothing to worry about in the way of delays. Green icon indicates delays of 15 minutes or less, according to the FAA. So good news there. Mark Lewis Laverne, uh, thank you very much. Yep, getting colder, afraid so at this time. Diane Wingo, why can't we get any snow? Well, we'll work on that at this point in time. Carl Welch from Hernando. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for stopping on by for this evening on Facebook. Now, we were watching a couple of delays earlier tonight, one of which around Dallas-Fort Worth. That seems to have abated for right now. Uh, still some delays and some pretty heavy ones, about 45 minutes plus reported at JFK around New York City. So if you are traveling or know someone who's traveling, this could be a bit of a problem into the rest of the evening. We'll keep our eyes on that at wreg.com slash weather. Or if you want to get this on your computer, all you have to do is go to this website website, fly.faa.gov. Good opportunity to learn more about what's going on out there. Now, so far, we're not detecting anything in the way of major amounts of precipitation in the Mid-South, and we are scanning points south of us into around middle Mississippi and southern Arkansas, and so far there's not much of anything going on immediately, but we are going to be seeing more moisture come up from the Gulf and drop maybe some moisture into and around southern parts of the viewing area. This is the target zone for any precipitation for tonight. That's why the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory. You can get snow advisories, you can get freezing rain advisories, Winter weather advisories are issued to cover, it's sort of an umbrella advisory to cover a whole bunch of different types of precipitation, which is what we may be seeing later on tonight. Now, Lafayette, Panola, Quitman, Coahoma counties in Mississippi in the News Channel 3 viewing area, that's where we're seeing the potential for maybe some light precipitation. Doesn't look great chances for right now, but if we do get some, this is the area where we may see some slipping and sliding going on. Bridges, overpasses, very cold roadways out there. So so it's not going to take a lot for stuff to stick and to start causing some problems out into portions of the area for right now. That could be, again, a bit of a problem out there for tonight. Uh, Levine, not Laverne, pardon me on that. Two-point typeface and bifocals don't work too well together. Apologies for that, Mr. Mark. Thank you very much uh, for correcting me on there. Currently, again, we're not seeing much to start off with, but we could see a little bit more coming up a little bit later on. Now, the big weather problem is going to be the temperatures. They're going to be dropping big Arctic air mass heading on through, and a lot lot of wind coming through with this as well, which is why the National Weather Service will be posting. It's not in effect just yet, but by tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, a wind chill advisory will be in effect for the entire News Channel 3 viewing area, including the metro. We could be seeing some temperatures below zero easily for the wind chills as we go into early Monday morning, right after the time the guitar drops on Beale Street and very early into the new day. Temperatures will be brutally cold out there, so if you have to be outdoors any period of time, from Sunday night into Monday morning. You're going to need to layer that clothing. Keep that in mind. Don't forget to bring the pets indoors. If you can't bring those pets indoors, they're designed to be outdoor animals. Make certain they have adequate protection. If they don't have ad adequate protection, that can be considered animal neglect, and that is a misdemeanor crime in all 50 states and rapidly moving toward felony status in a lot of state legislatures. So just keep that in mind. If you see that going on, this is something, again, to keep in mind. Again, and if you see something like that happening, a pet out in the cold that's being neglected, contact the Humane Society of Shelby County. They'll get in contact with the Sheriff's Department to open an investigation, and that's something that you can do to make certain that everybody stays safe out there, including our four-legged friends. And remember, if it's too cold for you, it's too cold for them. So let's make certain, just bring them on indoors just to be on the safe side. They can go back out again when the temperatures aren't quite so brutal out there. So what are we talking about for precipitation? Well, right now we're watching down to our south, and we do have some of the echoes showing up here, which may be bringing us some problems 
comes into tomorrow morning very early. It doesn't look like much for the time being, and most of it's down around Louisiana and middle Mississippi, but you can notice that some of that activity north of I-20 is already back up to around Louisville and close to the Tuscaloosa area, and it's not going to take much more for this to make its way up and into portions of the Mid-South area a little bit later on tonight, and that's mainly what we're looking for. We're also seeing reports of around northwest Arkansas. It's not showing up too well on radar here, but we do have some reports of some sleet and freezing rain starting to stick to some of the roadways in and around the mountainous areas, the Boston Mountains here, picking up some of that activity. So around uh, Eureka Springs, back toward Fayetteville, down to around the Pig Trail and into around I-40, you could be seeing some slick conditions taking place into northwest Arkansas a little bit later on. And some of that, again, will be making its way into portions of the Mid-South, getting into very early tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind if you or anybody else is going to be traveling out there. This is what it looks like back around my home stomping territory. Talked to my mom the other day in Topeka and looking at some very cold conditions out there for the next couple of days. This is what it looks like around northeast Kansas. Weathernet three sites around portions of the area close to Topeka with winds around Fort Riley, home of the Big Red One. Winds around 10 miles per hour, 4 degrees above zero Fahrenheit. That's taking wind chills well down below zero. North winds at 11. Wamego, Kansas, if you ever have a chance to go during warmer times and visit the Wizard of Oz Museum, highly recommend that. Great place to go to for that, right across the street from the old Dutch windmill. Uh, great opportunity to see that, but try to go during warmer periods of time as this is what that cold air is doing up to the north of us. This is what it looks like a little bit closer to home. Here in the Mid-South, temperatures in the upper 20s to around the lower 30s, but we still have some of those breezy winds out there and going to continue to see that throughout the course of the rest of the evening right on into tomorrow. So maybe not quite as powerfully cold just yet, but decently breezy and will continue to be that way. Let's go ahead and go through News Channel 3 at 10, heading into around 11 o'clock. Moving lines on screen are the winds at the surface, and the chance of moisture really starts to stack up as we get into around mid morning morning or so, overnight, mid-overnight, I guess I should say, as that potential for precipitation moves up our direction. Now, the heaviest activity looks like it's going to be, again, well on down to our south into around Jackson, Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, south of there from around Vicksburg down to around New Orleans. Right in that band right there, the pink indicates rain mixing with or changing to snow in the white, rain in the green. And some of that very light in nature might make its way up into around areas between Tupelo and Clarksdale. It doesn't look like much right now, and we're not talking about a major amount of snow being dumped on the Mid-South. What we are talking about, though, is the potential for that fraction of an inch of ice that could form, and especially on bridges and overpasses, that could make things very dangerous to travel into tomorrow morning. So if you're getting up early in the morning and you're going to be south of that particular area, especially right around News Channel 3 Daybreak. Tune in for Todd Demers. He'll have your complete forecast and we'll also be keeping a very close eye on what's going on with Mississippi Department of Transportation to make certain you're updated as to what's going on. And if there are any backups or accidents or slick spots, you'll hear about it with News Channel 3 first out there. Through the rest of the day, teens and 20s by mid to late morning for those last day of the year church services going on early into tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow afternoon only in the mid to lower 20s. Then we get into the evening hours. About time for the parties to start. About time to again get ready to ring in the new year. Temperatures by the time the parties get going after sunset in the teens and lower 20s. These are just the air temperatures, not even concerned at this point in time with the winds at this point because wind chills may be posting their way down to around zero by tomorrow evening. Deidre Jackson 11 on Periscope. Thanks for tuning in for tonight. What does it look like by the time the guitar drops on Beale Street and just afterwards? Lower teens into some parts of the area. Combine that with those northerly winds and you're definitely going to have wind chills below zero into tomorrow evening. And right on in through about daybreak into around early Monday morning, temperatures around the single digits in parts of the Mid-South. I would not be surprised to see some of the temperatures into and around the metro area, especially outside of Memphis proper, dropping into the single digits. So this is something that we're going to have to really take into account over the rest of the day. Uh, Tanya D. Huttenstein, uh, is it possible for this moisture could freeze 
dry before sticking to bridges and roadways. It's possible. It really depends on just how much we get out of this moisture. Right now, the moisture appears to be A, very limited, and B, mostly south of us. But if some of that does begin to wander its way up and into around areas south of that Tupelo to Batesville to Clarksdale line, it could cause some problems into tomorrow. So again, that's our main saving grace right now is that we have little, if anything, of this moisture going on. But there could be problems. There still could definitely be some problems with this as we go into tomorrow morning. So again, northern Mississippi, maybe southern Phillips County in Arkansas could be looking at some problems. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. And again, we'll keep you updated as to what we're going to be looking for throughout the rest of the day tomorrow and a very cold start to the new year. Let's run down the numbers here and show you what's going on. 20s into tomorrow, mid to lower 20s, and that's it for the temperatures. Even colder than that as we head into New Year's Day. This is where we see, again, less chances of anything involving moisture, really not much of anything to report for all the area, clearing things out into New Year's Day. So we may get some sunshine, but it's going to be some very cold sunshine, no question there. Mostly sunny and fairly dry. Again, not much of anything else in the way of snow, ice, rain, thunderstorms for the rest of the first week of 2018. Back in the lower 30s for high temperatures into around the end of the week, maybe the upper 30s for highs. And then by next weekend, we start to see some chances of rain, maybe a rain-snow mixture late Sunday evening if it gets cold enough, but this is still 7 to 10 days away. So a lot of this will change back toward 50 degrees, close to normal as we get toward Monday. That'll be feeling very welcome for a lot of you out there. We're also seeing more chances of rainfall out here, but once again, 7 to 10 days out, it's going to be difficult to say that this is exactly what's going to be happening for right now. Possible, yes, guidelines more than, again, strict rules on this for right now, but we will be keeping our eyes on that as we go throughout the rest of the next few days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for changes in both the forecast and hope everybody has a safe and happy new year coming up. If you have any parties to go to, again, please remember if you've had too much to drink to make certain that you give your keys to someone who's not going to give them back to you. And if you have somebody at your party that's too drunk to drive, take their keys away from them, offer a place to sleep it off, call them a cab, do something to make certain everybody gets home safely. Please, if you would do that to make certain everybody has a happy new year. Back to the weather where the troops are. 73 degrees right now after a high of 88 and over an inch of rainfall at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. A little bit farther overseas, back toward Afghanistan, teens into around Faizabad and Kabul. Sun's already up, or at least close to being up right now on the last day of the year, back on the other side of the planet. 20s around Kandahar, back into the Persian Gulf, a little bit more mild, 63 degrees reported with mostly cloudy skies. Cloudy at Doha and Qatar, and 46 at Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, and at Kuwait at the International Airport. Back toward Iraq, temperatures again a little bit more pleasant back in the high 40s to the lower 50s with mainly clear skies going on. A few clouds around Najaf and back toward around the area of Baghdad for this evening. So again, not doing too bad out there for right now. And toward the Korean Peninsula, sun is up and going toward noon on New Year's Day. Close to that with temperatures back in the 30s and 40s. So hopefully everybody having a safe holiday. Again, a lot of people can't make their way home because somebody has to be on duty all over the world for the American military. If you'd like to see information like this so you can keep tabs on the weather where your friends, neighbors, or relatives may be serving in the United States military, it's very easy to do so. This is not classified information. All you have to do is go to the World Meteorological Organization, the WMO, working together to study climate and weather around the world with the United Nations, and all you have to do to get there is go to public.wmo.int. Tons of information available, all for free, and you can check it out for yourself on your computer to find out more details about what's going on out there. So a great website to go to. If you missed that information, all you have to do is email me again, austin.onic at wreg.com. Catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Radio Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Todd Demers will be in bright and early tomorrow morning with daybreak. I'll have the day off for a bit, but I will be monitoring the weather from home, and we'll keep you updated on everything else that we keep trying into that area for right now. Deidre Jackson, 11 on Periscope. Fascinating how weather forecasts can change. A week ago, Oxford was forecast to get one to four inches of snow. Very true. That's why you need to stay tuned to local stations like News Channel 3 like the weather experts, so we can tell you more about what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis because 
like Ms. Deidre points out, these forecasts will change from time to time, and we need to keep you updated on this. It's not going to be the same over the course of 10 days out. So again, good opportunity to stay up to date on what's going on there. So Deidre Jackson 11, thank you very much. Very true on that and not going to get that much in the way of snow, but still could be some slick spots in and south of Oxford later on tonight. So please keep that in mind. Thanks to everybody for joining us on Facebook. Thanks to everybody for joining us on Periscope and Twitter. And thanks a lot for tuning in for new News Channel 3 at 10 later on tonight. Kristen Holloway will have more coming up on all the day's news. And, of course, Mike Sadie will have a busy day in sports. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Live and direct, let's see who we got here. Pernajays 3, if I'm saying that correctly. Ciao, back to you. Thank you for joining us on Periscope as well. And thanks to everybody for joining us on Facebook tonight for our Weather Overtime exclusive video weather blog. More coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Stay tuned.